Teleadi Champs, and today I'm very excited to have a look at this Zeus ROG Zephyrus S17, the GX703H to be exact. And this thing is chockers. Oh man, it's absolutely chocker block with all the latest tech. Some stuff here I really haven't seen on laptops before. And you're going to see with your own eyes. I'm going to thermal test it, slam it, and you're going to see this thing outperform an AMD 5900HX. Yes, the overclockable one. Well, supposable overclocked version. This is faster. Now, there is a caveat to that. I'll get to that in a sec. But of course, it comes to the latest 11th gen CPUs. And this is the 11900H. Now, it's not a HK. It's not unlocked. But it's an i9, right? The best you can get from Intel. And Intel actually really surprised me. I actually went all AMD with my gaming desktop. That's for another video. I don't care. AMD, Apple M1, Intel. It doesn't bother me. I just get what's best at the time or best for me at the time. And I was thinking, yeah, I, I want an AMD laptop. Just because of its performance, especially multi-core and, and uses a lot less power and stuff and it's just killing it, right? Until this come out. That really surprised me Intel because I was not expecting 10 nanometer. I was expecting it to follow the desktops and just be, you know, 10 nanometer backported to 14 nanometer. But no, this is actually 10 nanometer. You get the better graphics. You get Thunderbolt 4 built into the CPU. We get PCI Express 4, so super fast storage. This thing here actually has three NVMEs. You can raid zero. It's just nuts, this thing. Also, of course, it comes with the latest RTX graphics, 16 gigabyte RTX 3080. Now, there is a 140 watt, and yes, I could get up to around 145 watts. I'll show you that later. So this thing is just amazing. So we're having a look. Yeah, some of the other things you get with this is a mechanical keyboard, 4K, 120 hertz display, wolf. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Now, they did tell me in the briefing that you could change it to 1080p and do 240 hertz. I don't know how to do it. I don't know if you can do it. But anyway, it's an awesome display, 100% P3. Now you've got a laptop that can do content creation and game, right? 120 hertz, 4K is just amazing. It's the new Zephyrus design. So it's that matte black finish. It looks amazing. And they've changed up the way the keyboard works and that and how it lives. It's got liquid metal, as I told you before, studio quality mics. And of course, it does have Thunderbolt 4 being Intel. Not only that, it's 100 watts charging via the USB-C. Now, the next generation USB-C, 240 watts. Now, this thing here, as you'll see with this power brick, it is 280 watts. Now, the CPU is supposed to be limited to 90, so you've got 140 on the GPU and 90 watts on the CPU. Now, I'm going to have to check out that HDMI if it's 2.1, I believe it might be 2.8B. You get your Thunderbolt USB-3s two type c's one is thunderbolt of course and some type a's windows 10 home what the you know if you want to upgrade your windows 10 home to pro check out the description i've got a link and a discount for you you can also get office 2019 but let's get into it let's get into the performance here and yes you can see here you watch this run i'll leave it at the end you will see i'm getting a score of over 14,000. yes that is absolutely nuts and it was doing like 115 watts well over the 90 watts is specified for this is cpu only mind you it's a different story once we hit the gpu but that is nuts now that's the thing it is faster than the 5900 hx that's supposed to be overclockable it's made by asus as well the laptop i tested it in and yeah all right so it's faster than the amd hold your horses here this is in its boost state and it can maintain its like 115 watts no problem, right? These 11th generation, up to 20% IPC, slower clock speeds, more cash. Yes, it is faster than the last generation, the 10,000 series. But to get the score faster than the AMD 5900HX, it's using quite a lot more power. I mean, that AMD wasn't even using 80 watts. This thing's using like 115 sort of watts. And yeah, it is faster. And we'll have a look at a single core score later. Now, with this laptop being 280 watts, of course, I want to hit that GPU 100%. And yes, I was getting up to 145 watts on the GPU. Of course, that's GPU only. And then we're going to do the massive stress test. Make sure you watch it all. You can see it with your own eyes what's happening. I'll slam the CPU and GPU 100%. And what you'll see is the GPU wattage will go down to about, you know, 120, something like that, 125. And the CPU eventually will go down to 50 watts. Now, CPU only only it would maintain you know through Cinebench over 115 watts and prolonged use 90 watts it will go down to that 50 watts when we're hitting the gpu together so it looks amazing it's got all the stuff i want i can't wait to get into it and 
I already had a video pretty much done comparing the Alienware 17 to the MSI GE76 Raider. Then they released a new Raider. So I will update that video and I will include this in that video. So I'll tell you which one you would want to get out of all three of these laptops. Alienware 17, MSI GE76 Raider and this beast here. Liquid Metal. Stay tuned. I'll catch you in the next one guys. Tally ho.